Hi Scrubs, I hope you're well. This video is requested by SusieBird307 and I will be talking about improving EC competitions. So prior to the 6th of November 2018, the way it used to be done was if you had um, competitions that you wanted to get rosettes in all of your EC competitions, okay, you would have had to make sure that each of your competitions would get you 75 prestige or above okay, for each of those competitions. And how you would have done that is make sure that those competitions are running frequently, but also that those competitions are being entered by the best horses possible in each of their individual disciplines. So, let's say you wanted to set a dressage competition that was going to get that, that was going to be able to get those rosettes, was going to be able to get that prestige to qualify for the rosettes. Basically what you would have done is you would have gone and looked at the best horses in the game, and let's say they had 3,500 dressage skills. And then you would have gone and set your competition difficulty and you would have made sure that the level requirements in terms of the skills was around 3,500 dressage skills. And once you set that, okay, the horses can enter that competition. But what would happen is if you didn't update that competition to keep up with whatever the horses were becoming in terms of skills, you would essentially fall behind. Let's say after a couple of weeks, the horses go up to 4,000 dressage skills and you don't update your competition, you leave it as it is. And let's say that competition allows horses of about 3,400 to 3,600 dressage skills to enter. These 4,000 skilled dressage horses that are now the best um, there is, can't enter that competition and you'll lose prestige because you don't have the best horses going into the competitions anymore. And that was a major problem because it meant that EC owners always had to update their competitions. That's no longer the case. So as of the 6th of November 2018, we have this thing called the difficulty level. So you don't need to constantly update your difficulty level anymore. And essentially what this means is, so let's say the best horses at the time that you're setting this is 3,500 in dressage, okay? And you go to set your dressage competition. Um, so you then go and create a difficulty level that has a skill requirement around um, 3,500 again, okay? So what will happen now is as the horses on the server get better and better, the difficulty level of your competition says, says the same. Let's say your difficulty level, you'd set about 80% or whatever. As the best horses on the game get better and better, and you have new skilled horses, okay, it actually drags the skill requirements of that difficulty up with it. So while your competition might stay as 80% difficulty level, the skill requirements get dragged up as the best horses in the game become better and better and better. So when you create or edit a competition in your equestrian center, you now have to set the difficulty level in percentage rather than based on the specific skills required. This percentage stays the same. The minimum and maximum skills required at the level of difficulty are recalculated daily, according to the best horses in the game on the difficulty level. This will allow you to automatically maintain the prestige of your competitions. So essentially, you don't need to waste time updating your competitions anymore. This is what this change does. And this applies to both Western and it applies to classical um, AC competitions. Now, obviously there are a couple of other things that do affect um, your AC um, competitions. Now we're going to get into that a little bit now. So if I just go to my questions at a page here, and we scroll down, we click on competitions. So right now when we look at these competitions, now these are Western competitions because I have a Western AC, but the same principles applied classical. Okay, so as I'm looking at these competitions, okay, I can see what the prestige of my competitions is, I can see the frequency and the level required. Now, this one is the closest I have to 75%, but currently none of these competitions give rosettes. Now, when you look at the frequency, it says once per day for all of these competitions, so that's the default. And this does not mean that your competition is guaranteed to run every day. I'll show you why. So if we view the competition details right here, we can see that obviously it says frequency once per day. If we look here, this competition is not running every single day. And it's very important with trying to improve your easy competitions that you run your competition as frequently as you can, okay? If you're on the default of once per day, then make sure your competition actually runs every day because you want it running as frequently as possible because that's going to help improve the prestige. Now, if you're a VIP member, you might want to consider there are two particular um, perks that could be helpful here. 
One of them is to reserve competition slots in your crescent center for your team's horses. So let's say you're in a team that has the best of a particular um, discipline, okay? You might want to use that to improve your EC competitions. And the other one is to choose the competition frequency in your crescent center so you can actually make it uh, more frequent and um, let it run uh, much more frequently than once per day. So competition frequency is very important because the more your competition is running and with the better horses, you will see the prestige go up. And um, basically what you can do to run it more frequently is use skillers, obviously, um, that have the specific level that is required. Um, you can use divines to help uh, fill those competitions as well. You want to make sure that you have as good a possible skiller going into your competitions because they're going to improve that. Obviously, if you can ask friends or maybe work alongside somebody that also has a good EC that has skillers, let's say you have two really good skillers and they've got two really good skillers, you know, you could say, right, I'll enter your competitions if you enter mine. And that's how some people have done it in the past, that's how I've done it in the past as well, because it helps keep your competitions going every day. And you want them running as frequently as possible. So now we're going to talk about how to set the competitions. So if we go into Question Center and we click on competitions, and I've got um, the ability to manage all of mine right now, so let's click on Western Pleasure for example. So the first thing I want to say is if you're trying to get high prestige in your competitions, don't click Rookie, because Rookie horses are obviously horses that are really low in skills and they can't be over certain potential that changes daily. So this is something not to do. Um, the other thing is you can restrict it to special horses which is like Divine and Legendary. Personally I wouldn't do that. You can also reserve to a specific breed. Now I'm going to mention this because sometimes you can have on a server where you've got two breeds that are sort of vying for contention in let's say a specific discipline, let's say dressage. It's better sometimes to go with the horses that are better in dressage and with more skills because they'll probably bring your prestige up. Um, and I have had that in the UK server before where there was two breeds vying for contention in particular. One, but one of them was slightly more skilled. You want to go for that, that better horse. Not always, sometimes you just want to leave it open to all breeds. None wrong with that. So here we can set the number of orders and here we can set the difficulty and then you'll see the difficulty level of your course. So let's just go and set it to the very, very easy. So you can see your difficulty of your course is 1%. So if I set that right now, that will always be 1%, but this level requirement will change as the horses go up. So as the horses get higher and higher in skill, this number here will slowly get dragged up. So I want to set a horse that's our competition is open to anyone, but I want to set it to the highest possible. So let's go with very difficult. So if we look at this, right, we're just going to go into the best horses here. You're going to sort of see what I mean. So we can see there that the level required will be this. So if we go into the best horses and then we click on skills for all, okay. Now depending, if you set it for a particular breed, you're going to want to look at a particular breed and you're going to click on that particular breed. Uh, but I'm just going to click on skills for all because I'm not limiting this competition to one particular breed. And I'm going to scroll down to trot because this is, trot is needed for what I'm currently setting, which is my Western competition. Um, so this is trot that we're focused on. So let's have a look at the best horses in trot. So right now we can see that those horses are around 2,500. Now, if we look at my competition that I just made, we're saying that only horses with this amount of skills, okay, 2,500 and 50 can enter this competition up to this amount. Obviously there's no horses right now with that, but if we look here we can see that there's only going to be three horses here that could go into my competition because these ones are all too low. Three horses is not enough to run my competition so that would be a mistake in that regard. So it's very important to try and set a difficulty level that is going to be giving you enough horses to run your competition because if you set it too small in terms of difficulty very few horses are going to be able to enter and the other problem is as well um let's just say uh, these horses are all classical let's just have a click on them and we'll have a wee look and we'll see so this is a classical horse i have west i'm setting a western competition that's not going to be any use to me um this is also a classical horse so yet again this horse couldn't enter my competition and then this last one 
is another classical horse. So I essentially be making it impossible for anyone to enter. So it's very important that you set a difficulty that is going to be within the grasp of a decent amount of horses. So we're going to bring this down a little bit. So now we've got 2,379.9. So let's have a look back at the best horses and let's see how many that would include. So if we look at this again, 2,379, that's going to be from about here. So there's about 17. So I would advise making sure, maybe give yourself about 50 horses to enter. So we're going to bring this down quite a bit. We're going to bring that to about right there, I think, would do roughly. Um, actually, that might be a bit much. We'll maybe we'll bring it up a little bit. We'll bring it up just a wee bit more. That would have, that would be about ideal, I think, roughly around there. So that's going to leave plenty of horses, hopefully, that can enter the competition. So that's important. We're going to save that now. Oh, hold on. Try this again. So we'll save that, and that is now. Um, an increased difficulty. So that's always going to be that difficulty, but the level required is going to go up. And the same, it applies to all these other competitions. I'm not going to go through all of these, but you kind of get, um, I guess, the point with this. One thing I will do is just change this one because there are some of the competitions you'll see it, especially with a lot of the classical ones, where you have to put um, different obstacles together to set the difficulty of the course. So I'm just going to this is about 90% difficulty, this competition. So we'll just have a quick look to see dressage. So if we go best horses and we'll go over to dressage here. Now, if we have a look at our trails, so 2,260. So I think that should give us a decent number of horses entered, able to enter that. So we'll save that. And um, that is now but that this is already sort of a reasonable one. This one, for example, we'd have to edit it and buy calves. So let's see. So as you're, you know, whether placing obstacles or like with cutting buying uh, calves for your cutting competition, you're going to see what's going to be required. So we're going to just, uh, yeah, it keeps telling me these characters aren't required or allowed. I haven't, this is how long it's been since I've updated these. Okay, there we go. Um, so as you set these difficulties, it's going to stay there. You might find that you need to bring them up or down um, and just be aware of that. So just a couple of things that I just want to mention. Summary is obviously when you're trying to improve your EC competitions, you know, avoid using rookies because that's not going to give you the best possible results if you're trying to aim for, let's say, um, resets. If you're not and you just want to have competitions that most horses can enter, that's absolutely fine. Uh, but if you want your prestige to go up, you're going to have to try and avoid rookies. You're going to want to use the best horses on, on the server with the best possible skills. You know, make sure you check what those are because every server is different. Some servers have horses that are like... 10,000 GP. Other servers, you know, the horses are maybe only around 3,000. Every server varies, so you need to look and check. Don't be taking any of the figures that I've used in this video as what you should be applying to your own uh, EC competitions. And um, obviously, make sure that you check to see if there's enough Western horses. If you're in the Western EC, make sure there's enough Western horses there to run your competitions. Or classical, for example, you know, they might not all be the discipline that you need. The top 50 trot horses could all be classical or they could all be Western. You've got the opposite EC. Don't set competitions that only they can enter because then you've left yourself stuck. You need to make sure that you don't set anything that you're going to get yourself stuck and sort of like, oh, I'm going to have to go and reset this again. You know, obviously play around with it if you're not used to it or anything like that, but just to kind of get you started. Hopefully this is helpful and um, hopefully it made sense. And obviously if you have any more questions, just leave them in the comments below. Anyway, thank you to SusieBird307 for pressing the video. I hope you settle it down, scrubs, and bye-bye.